Guys, good day, my brothers and sisters. This is my TRX4 Sport running the 79 Bronco body. Beautiful. Guys, I put in Copperhead 10 ESC and motor. It's actually, it's a 3,800 KV. It's a censored system. That's why I did it with that high of a KV. It's meant for like short course trucks and things of that nature. But it is censored. So I think it will, you see the sensor wire in there, right down there, plugging in. Um, so it should be okay for a crawler. I'm just hope what I did, I I I, I actually uh, I threw a nine tooth pinion on it. I wanted to keep the gear ratio a little low because of the high KV of the motor, guys. So today I'm gonna take this thing out. We're gonna do some crawling with it, some trailing, and hopefully that motor doesn't overheat because it's not for crawlers. And this truck, it's not really heavy, but it does have a little. I have the hot racing brass portal um, housings on it, so it does add some weight. It's got the wheel wells. Like I said, this is a TRX4 Sport, and just um, that's really it. So it's not really a heavy truck. So we're going to get this thing out and see how it crawls with this system, guys. See you in a minute. Guys, here she is. First run with this castle system. It's very loud, guys. The TRX4 Sport comes with a 17 tooth pinion and a 39 tooth spur. So it's a, it's a much faster gearing than the regular TRX4. I put the regular TRX4 gearing in this TRX4 Sport because I thought maybe the 3800 kV motor would be a little uh, too much but look this is full out ready that's full speed guys so I'm gonna definitely up the gearing a little bit more if I kept the regular TRX4 Sport gearing in it, it would probably would be a lot faster. But, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Woo! That's full, ooh, drag brake a little stiff. Let's see, full speed. Yeah, it's slow, it's slow. But, let's go see how it crawls. I'm gonna bring you guys to some other obstacles and we're gonna see how she crawls. Here we go, guys. The mud test. Let's try this section here. It looks a lot more muddy. Let's get in there. Oh, yeah. Nice, with ease, guys. I really hope this isn't salt water. I'm pretty sure this feeds out into the bay. I think this would, it could be brackish, though. Oh, there's that deep stuff. There's the deep stuff. Oh, yeah. 
side it. Okay. I just, I have not tried this line, guys, so. Let's see. Little trigger helps. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Ooh. Not bad. The trigger's a little touchy. That's what the problem is. But she is up and over, guys. And the, the power delivery is perfect, though. It's so smooth. Let's bring her down here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Up and out. With that being said, to answer the question, can you use a brushless setup that is designed for a short course truck, monster truck, etc., etc.? You sure can, guys, in a crawler. It works, and it works really good. As long as it's censored, that is the end all be all, gentlemen. Here we go, 79 Bronco. I think she did pretty well today. I do gotta make some adjustments on the gearing. Guys, let me know in the comments what I could do to fix that touchiness and the trigger. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a like and a subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. You guys have a beautiful weekend. Later. Guys, quick note. <laughs> For 3,800 kV, guys, that was way too slow, obviously. I'm going to go, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the uh, the TRX4 Sport gearing directly back into that thing. That should give me a lot more top-end speed. We'll see what it does next time. I'll post that when I do that. Later, guys.